lots of sun, maybe too much. So, hello, welcome back to um, my creative spot, space on the internet. Um, how am I gonna start this? It's a really beautiful day, like I said, the sun is out. Um, why I am sitting here right now is because I thought of like making an artwork together and by that I mean like an artwork on canvas because I've actually been doing tons of work on um, on paper and you can see a few of them like I put them also on my walls and um, I might just give you a little bit of a look on that um, and I also did like a few other works so okay so this is like a lot and um they're not all like like finished or something but i will go quickly so i've kind of been experimenting a little bit with um also adding portraits to like the more abstract work i was doing um because like before i started doing more abstract work actually i used to draw portraits um mainly portraits portraits but i ended up really not liking it because it was just kind of boring to me at some point and um then i started as a sketch and then what happened was I absolutely hated doing portraits. So I kind of just switched it all up. But now, now that I have, like now that I feel much better, again, making art in general and doesn't feel as tedious, I kind of started to enjoy kind of incorporating portraits into this work i'm making now which is all still one huge experiment in general so we can't go anywhere with this really some of them are not super finished or anything so like i have this huge stack of paper work sorry it doesn't end <laughs> it does not end it's almost oh this one is absolutely awful but i'm just showing you everything because i think what's important is that you realize <laughs> that like like i'm just sitting down on the floor right now hang on like making art is not just making like a beautiful piece on a canvas it's also lots of just making quick work on paper um, but I've been doing that now for like a few weeks and I noticed that I'm also on like a point now that I'm thinking maybe it's time to just try something on canvas, but I feel like scared. I'm like feeling scared to do that because I'm scared of ruining the canvas, which is not good by the way. And this is the last one. So, like, yeah, what I wanted to say is I want to try and make something on canvas because I feel I am scared of the canvas at this point. And I know that when I'm scared, I should just do it. I should just get it over with. I should just try it. I know there's nothing to lose except maybe a canvas. But even that is not really possible because I'm just trying things out and all of the things I do will eventually help me improve the work I make. So in the end, it doesn't matter. But as you can see, after making this big stack of like mainly just drawings and faster work, I think it's maybe fun to just um, try a more final piece. Or maybe I shouldn't even call it that. Just try something on canvas because canvas feels like almost intimidating. And I, don't, I just don't think it should be like that. So 
we're gonna just try and make something on canvas in this video and i just want to take you along so let's just get started and maybe first clean around a little because it's a little messy around here So my setup would be something like this, my oil pastels, these are all of my favorites. These are the Neo pastels and the gallery pastels. This is a tiny set of the Neo pastel. These are the oil sticks. I will also be using these, I think, because I basically I bought them in like the with the thought that I would be using them on campus because these uh, compared to the oil pastels, these do dry. So if you are going to use them on campus, they will actually dry. What I also always keep um, is a roll of paper. This is to clean like the pastels or the oil, st oil sticks and um, also sometimes to just kind of blend things out. I also got like this, which is a piece of leather that is seemingly used to like also blend or smudge pastels with, and I've kind of used it. I think it's pretty nice. It just, I mean, it comes pretty gross, uh, but you can also wash it. I just haven't done that yet. I do, I do like it though. Um, we're gonna have to decide on what size canvas I'm gonna be using. This is way too small for now. For now. This is way too big. But it's not like it's not super gigantic. Shall we do this one? <laughs> it feels really scary. I think that's a good thing. We're gonna do this one. So I am hoping that at some point in the future I can also like make my own canvases. That's just not my main focus right now because I'm still so much experimenting with my style. I've never actually used these before. In what way? I'm supposed to look this up. Oh wait, maybe like this? Maybe like that? I have to look it up. I have no clue. Oh, Alright. We need like a hammer for that. I've never done this before, so let's try that. Done. So I'm just going to be using a Neo Pastel to, um, to do the sketch.
Um, so after I put that down that sketch, I uh, forgot to press record. Isn't that a classic? But this is where we're where we are now. It's not like too bad, I think. What I'm trying to do here is kind of lay out the color a bit. And I basically rubbed everything with this piece of leather. And I kind of like to do that. I'm sort of experimenting with it, but it gives a really nice effect when you start the layer that you already have like a little bit of color underneath, for example, white or another color that you might put on top of that. So I think it's better if I just leave this, leave this for now and then tomorrow I'm, I'm just gonna continue with the oil sticks. And yeah, that's all I did for today. Let's move on to tomorrow. Thank you. 
Hello, um, here we are and here is also the finished painting. I wanted to record a little bit of an end to this video showing you the final results. Unfortunately, I forgot to press record once again um, while I was actually adding the final details. And while I was doing that, I mostly worked on this part and this part here and just added a few more things, uh, tried to balance things out a little bit. It's, uh, it wasn't super drastic or anything, but I unfortunately didn't record that part. But this is the final result. It is one of the, it's my first bigger work I've made in like a while. And it is the first bigger work I made with pastels and with oil sticks. And I really, really enjoyed it. I think working with the oil sticks on something like bigger, like a canvas is absolutely, it's like a lot of fun. And um, so the parts that are that I did with oil stick are also uh, dried up so you can actually touch them. They don't leave any uh, residue on your fingers. Um, however, though, I will still set this with a varnish. I do have like an oil, pa uh, oil paint varnish oil paint varnish. Like, I wonder if that will also set the oil, pa oil pastel a little better. I will definitely be making more bigger works. I think that's it. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the process of this one. And if you have anything to say or to add, or maybe you have tips, just leave it in the comments. And I love to hear what you think. And thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you liked it and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!